Good morning, this is John. I'm going to do a quick video on how to do underlayments and stuff on uh, words. I'm going to actually increase my size and I'm going to do hyperfont. Go in my tools, designs. Uh, here it is, hyperfont. Now, if they're not up here, what you need to do is you need to uh, see if you can get them back over on this side. Uh, palette. Nope, don't need palette. For some reason, they're not on here. But that's right, they're underneath the create, which I can click on my hyperfont there. And I'm going to do something really quick. I'm just going to type in my name uh, John. And then I'm going to pick out the, uh, the type that I want. I don't really want bold. Uh, so I'm going to go with something that's not so bold and that's a little bit more flowy and narrow. Uh, actually this one's a pretty good one. I'm going to click OK. Uh, I can do it italic if I wanted to. I'm going to leave it straight up and click OK. Click Next. Uh, column stitch or fill stitch? I want a column stitch. Fill is to fill it in like if it was a large letter and it does like uh, fill stitches to fill up the area. Column stitch is like a satin stitch. So you want column stitch and click finish. Now it's thinking. And there it is. And right now it has my height which is 100. I could do 300 and it has my space in at 10. If I do 0 what it does is it brings each of the letters closer. So bring it back at 10 you can see that it's spaced a little bit in between the uh, things. If I wanted space more I go 15 or 20 and that spaces my things. Uh, I don't want it that big so I'm going to go down to 150 or, yeah, yeah, 150 is good, and it's still column. Uh, I do all of this before I do my, uh, before I hit the stitch it. Now this little pencil here is how you adjust the underneath. You click on that, and the density is at 4. I'm going to highlight that density, and I'm going to bring it down to 3.0. That will increase my density. Uh, you want to have a lower number to increase density. Now, uh, underlayment. Uh, right here, fill underlayment. We want fill underlayment. Uh, we want running stitch outline. So you have all these different things. Stitch type. You can change the type of your stitch. Uh, I'm just going to have it a satin stitch. I could have it uh, that right there step satin, random, elastic, and these are all the different uh, stitches that I could use to uh, do my, that's applique, if I wanted to turn it into an applique design, but I'm just going to do a regular satin stitch, and for my underlayment, uh, let's Run and stitch outline, no. Underlay. Edge walk underlay, fill underlay. I want to fill underlay. And I'm going to apply. And then I'm going to close this out. And I'm going to do stitch it. Now it's stitching it. Now what I can do is I can go and do view, 
and do a redraw and when I do my redraw it shows that it's doing the underlayment first before it stitches it that's what the little zigzag is is the underlayment and you can see how close the stitches are together by having it down to three now if I want to I'm going to close this out and no, I'm not going to save chain. Okay, we're back. And I'm going to open up another icon. And I'm going to do the exact same word again. I'm going to select my uh, thing, which I'm going to go back to the exact same one I had. can do it regular or actually bold looks good too and click OK next and we're going to do a column fill not a fill finish and we're going to increase that up to 250 and move it so it's more centered. I'll actually do it to 200. There we go. And I'm going to separate that to 15. And I'm going to do underlayments again. And that's on here. My density is still at 3. If I want it even more dense, I'll put that at 2.5. Uh, underlayment. I can do an edge underlayment also. And stretch is at 10. If I don't want it stretched that far, I can put that down to 5. And that will make my underlayment. And the density is at 20. If I put that down to 10, it's going to give me a much, much more uh, underlayment on that. I click apply, close it, and stitch it. Now you can see how really thick it is. And if I put uh, view and play, you can see how much more fill I have and how much thicker it is doing the underlayment. Uh, and that's basically it on how to uh, do your underlayment and how do you uh, increase your density on hyperfont. So I'm going to move on. Uh, other